Hi in this video I will be demonstrating how you can deploy and configure VMware NSX Cloud Service Manager. NSX Cloud enables you to manage and secure your public cloud inventory using NSXT Data Center. The Cloud Service Manager, CSM, provides a single pane of glass management endpoint for your public cloud inventory on Amazon AWS and Microsoft Azure. Let's go ahead and deploy NSX CSM. During deployment we will be using common OVA file to deploy NSX Manager and NSX CSM. During deployment choose the appropriate appliance configuration. On the customization template page choose NSX Cloud Service Manager instead of NSX Manager. On the customize template page, type in the details like IP address, DNS server, NTP server etc. and click next. Review the details and click on finish to start the deployment process. Once deployed, Power on the NSX CSM appliance and wait for some time. Open the internet browser and type in the IP address or FQDN along with HTTPS in the address bar. Log in with admin username and the password you configured during the deployment process. As this is the new deployment the first step we need to do is to configure the appliance. You can connect with VMware NSX Manager at this time or later. Let's connect VMware NSX CSM with NSX Manager. Type in the IP address or FQDN of NSX Manager and provide the admin username and password of the NSX Manager and click on Connect. Accept the NSX Manager thumbprint and click on Connect. Provide the proxy details if you have any and click on Add Cloud Account. You can skip configuration of Cloud Account at this time and do it later. On the VMware NSX Cloud Service Manager console, click on Cloud to integrate CSM with AWS or Azure Cloud. Do make sure you have service appropriate service account configured in public cloud. In this lab we will be connecting VMware NSX CSM with Amazon AWS. Click on AWS under Clouds to add AWS account. Type in the access key and secret key and click on Add. It would take some time to sync the regions, VPC and instances. Post sync process you need to deploy Public Cloud Gateway. The NSX Public Cloud Gateway, PCG, provides north south connectivity between the public cloud and the on prem management components of NSXT Data Center. The PCG can either be a standalone gateway appliance or shared between your public cloud VPCs or nets to achieve a hub and spoke topology. Select the VPC where you want to deploy your public cloud gateway. Do make sure you have appropriate subnets created in VPC before cloud gateway deployment. Click on Deploy Gateway to deploy Public Cloud Gateway on AWS. Choose the PEM file you want to use for creating Public Cloud Gateway appliance on AWS. Choose whether you want workloads VMs bring under NSX management by using NSX tools or you want your workload VMs to bring under NSX management without the use of NSX tools. You can choose Enable or Disable Quarantine Policy in case of NSX Enforced. Quarantine Policy will be always enabled in case of Cloud Native Enforced mode. Configure proxy if any and click on next. Choose whether you want to enable HA for NSX Cloud Gateway. In case of HA, Cloud Gateway appliance will be deployed in two different availability zone. In this lab I have deployed NSX Cloud Gateway without HA. If in case you want to reconfigure NSX Manager or if in case you have skipped to configure NSX Manager earlier. You can configure under Settings. You can take backup, restore the configuration and download the support bundle under Utilities. Under User, you can add users and assign the appropriate role. You can integrate VMware Identity Manager if you have that configured in your organization. Hope this will be informative for you. Please do share and subscribe in case you find worth sharing or subscribing this.